Today, we'll connect Flutter app with ASP.NET Core Web API, so we can run it on emulator, real device, or on Windows app. So, open Visual Studio. Create ASP.NET Core Web API project. Delete these files. Open program.cs file. Up here, use builder.webhost.configure kestrel method. Pass its server options using Lambda expression. Inside it, use server options.listen any IP method, pass it 5000 port number. This port will be HTTP connection. Now, use server options.listen any IP method, pass it 5001 port number, and also pass listen options using Lambda expression. Inside it, use listen options.use HTTPS method. This port will be used for HTTPS connection. Now, open launch settings.json file. Inside it, change this local host address to 0.0.0.0, and also set port to HTTP port number which we set. Now, change this local host address to, and set port to HTTPS port number which we set. Also change this address and pass HTTP port number here too. Now, create a controller inside controller folder. Choose API controller, name it test controller. Inside it, create HTTP get annotation. Then create an action of type I action result, named index. Inside it, return OK method, and pass it a simple message to return. Now, we need to open these ports in firewall. So, open Windows firewall settings. Open inbound rules. Create new rule. Select port. Enter port number. Select allow all connections. Enter name of this rule. Again, create new rule. Select port. Enter second port number. Select allow all connections. Enter name of this rule too. Now, run this API. Open raw URL. Enter the address of API endpoint. It's working. Now open CMD. Type IP config and hit enter. Copy this IPv4 address and save it. Copy API address and save it too. Replace this local host with the IP address. Now, let's test it through mobile browser. Enter this address in search bar carefully. It displays the warning due to SSL certificate, but ignore it and click advance and then proceed. Message it displaying which means we are able to connect with API. Now, open VS Code. Create new empty Flutter project. Go to pub spec file. Enter HTTP package under dependencies. Create new file named, main page. Inside it, create stateful widget. Set it as home in main file. Create scaffold widget. Now, go to Android manifest.xml file under Android directory. Add this line of code here to allow internet access. Now open info.plist file in iOS directory. 
Here, add these lines of code to allow access to internet. Now, open main page. Create body and pass it center widget. Pass text widget to it. Here, create string type variable, named response, and initialize it. Pass it to text widget. Now create string type variable, named URL. Create method of return type, future void, named get API response, and make it async. Inside it, use if statement, and check if platform is Android. Platform property comes from dart.io library. Inside it, initialize URL with URL which contains IP address. Then use else if, and check if platform is Windows. Inside it, initialize URL with URL which contains local host. Also check, iOS platform along with Android because it will use same address. Now, create try catch block. Now, we need to create local certificate otherwise it won't work. Inside it, create a final IOC named variable and initialize it with HTTP client. The use, IOC.bad certificate callback and initialize it with line of code. Enter this line carefully. Create a final HTTP named variable and initialize it with IO client which comes from HTTP package. Create result variable and initialize it with http.get method. Pass it uri.parse method and pass it url variable. Also pass it header and pass content type in it. Now use if statement and check if result.status code is from 200 to 299, which are success codes. Inside it, use set state method. Inside it, initialize response variable with result.body. Because we know it returns string value. Now create init state method. Inside it, call get API response method. Our code is complete. Now, run this app as Windows app first. It shows connected which means it worked. Initialize response variable with not connected message. Refresh the app. It shows not connected first and then shows connected when it gets response from API. Now, run this app on real Android device which is connected to same Wi-Fi network. It also shows connected message. It means that we also have access to API through this real device. Also, don't forget to delete those port opening rules which we created in Firewall. And also, don't add this custom certificate in Flutter app in production. With this, this video comes to an end. Thanks for watching. See you in next video.